Welcome to Key Conversations, the podcast where we talk about all things that can help you level up your music career. This season, we are doing the 12 Days of Amplify leading up to the holidays, highlighting successes of independent musicians that are part of the monthly mastermind Amplify. I hope you enjoy. And if you're a musician interested in joining, head to inthekey.co slash amplify. Let's get started. Hello again. We are back with the 12 Days of Amplify, day five, number two. We just have so many musicians that have got wins that are way too exciting to not share. So today we're going to talk with Victoria Storm. I'm going to bring her on right now. Hi, Victoria. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day, because I know you're a busy lady. Well, um, I yeah. day off today, actually, and I thought, you know, who else do I want to hang out with for a little bit on my day off besides Miss Cheryl? So here I am. Oh, my God. I'm so... I'm all for fun. <laughs> well, tell us, what are you taking a day off from? Uh, I am taking off a day from my full-time job. So I am one of those people who has lots of ambitions and lots to do and trying to make, you know, many things happen at once. But um, yeah, my full-time job is I'm a music therapist in hospice setting. And so I make music every single day. And I feel very blessed to be in a in a profession that I could get to do that. Now, that profession is also one that I don't really get to do my original music because it's not usually appropriate. Um, it's about them. It's not about me. So um, making music is certainly, you know, a, a huge part of my, my everyday life and I'm excited to do it. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. How do you find that balance between the job that happens to be music related and very creative and, and creating music every day and your music career, which is separate from it, even though there, of course, mm -hmm. there's so much overlap, way more than if you were a a bank teller or something else full time. So how do you how do you strike that balance and get the energy when you're already creating all day to go create more and yeah, tell me things. Some days are easier than others. Some yeah. days I'm more productive in being a you know musician for myself and and having those projects really flowing and going great. Um, some sometimes I'm really swamped at work and I just got to put the other stuff aside for a little bit and focus mm -hmm. on, you know, that, that, that's the import, important thing at the moment. Yeah. Good. So yeah. you're already getting lots of hearts. Here's some, you can see the, in the Facebook from Robin, oh, many, nice. many, many, many hearts. I can see comments here. I know you can't see them, so I'll just share them mm -hmm. as they pop up. Well, okay. um, so what, what shifted for you this year in, in the sense of, I know your job must have changed a little bit, the full-time job, as well as you creating music. So share some of the, like the upsides of what happened this year as you pivoted. Um, well, working from home, <laughs> though very bizarre and um, unusual, uh, has been wonderful because I have zero commute. So I have an extra couple hours in my day every day. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. And when I do go out into the field, I'm usually going to one, two, three, sometimes four places. And then I'm coming back home again and my office is here. So that's created a really different way to um, sort of conceptualize time and, yeah. and space. Right. So that's one, one thing that's changed. I'm also doing a lot of what we call telemedicine. So I'm here in my home music studio and working with patients on the computer. Yeah. And that's really different. Yeah. Um, and I, in lieu of that, I've let go of my office space and I've moved all of my clinical music therapy stuff into my home and I'm saving money on office space. You know, those, those different kinds of, hard decisions to make but um you know like in like in the summer it was do I close this place I mean I'm paying rent for nothing so why continue to do this and the hopeful side of me said no you know keep it open this is going to be over soon the practical side said close it save the money and reopen it if you need to yeah so, you know that's part of what I've done too I love that. Yeah. And Wanda is agreeing with you. Yes to the no commute. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yes to the no. Um, I love that. Yeah, totally. So what about what's so what's going on with your music career? Let's let's I yeah. totally love that you're you're such a contribution to your community as what you're doing. But I also want to hear about what you got going on and, right. and share that a little bit. 
Well, so um, I have a band. I also have a trio. And um, the trio is kind of on full pause mode right now because one of my, my trio mates has needed to move out of town. So it's kind of hard to get together, even though, you know, we're all Skyping and, and Zooming and all that stuff. Um, right. It's just harder. So that, that trio project is kind of on hold for now. And that's really where I do a lot of my more singer songwriter kind of writing and exploring those tunes. And um, I have great intentions of bringing that trio together to record um, an EP, probably five singles that will turn into an EP. Um, on the other side, my band, of course, we are not gigging. We, we did have a couple of summer gigs, though, in like um, outdoor venues. And <laughs> one of them, we were so excited to be playing together that we played for like two hours and we were hired for one hour. But we nice. just stopped playing because it was like, let's do another song. We're like, oh, this, this set's not done yet. Well, let's just keep playing it. And, awesome. <laughs> and so that was really um, fun to be able just to explore you know, yeah. live music making again. Um, yeah. But we're also recording because we're taking this moment to do some DIY recording through our sound system. And then we're planning on taking those tracks to a producer and have them clean it up and do that too. So between the home recording that I'm doing for the, the singer songwriter stuff and the more rock tunes, rock and, and um, sort of, blues and roots rock and, and some sort of some soul influences there. Yeah. Um, that's where I'm taking those tunes is to that ensemble. And then the more mellow stuff, that's more ballady or more contemplative keeping for my solo stuff. So I'm busy. Yeah. I love all that. You're like really in creation mode. You're kind of just making the stuff and, and, and moving, moving forward, which is so exciting. Yeah. So if people want to, come on this journey with you. And they're like, I love what you're up to. I love who you are. I want to, I want to follow you and wait for these CDs to come out. How do we like, what, what do you want us to do? How do we get, how do we latch on? Yeah, you can, you can come to, I think I put it right here. VictoriaStormMusic.com. There it is. No. Yeah. Victoria storm music.com. It's so great. So many people have their name music.com, like their name music.com. So Victoria storm music.com. I love that you're already got it in your name there. So anyone watching on any yeah. of these platforms, you can see that it's so amazing. Um, so what do you, what do you want us to do when we, when we get there? Well, you can certainly sign up for my email and then I will keep you in the loop of what's going on because all of these things will be full, you know, unfolding the next couple of months. And um, I've got a blog there. I've got um, certainly the email sign up list. And, and I let people know from that page, not only about my stuff, but also my band Kettle Strings. And then if you want to go straight to the band stuff, because you're like, eh, I don't like singer songwriter stuff, but I like rock and roll. You can yeah. go over there. That's kettlestrings.com. Kettlestrings.com. I love that so much. Yeah. Cool. So this is this is the assignment. I, every one of these, I'm giving the listeners an assignment to be right. really clear on like what the how to be a great fan here. Whether you're a musician or not. Well, the the first assignment for anyone that is a musician that's not an Amplify is to go get yourself on the wait list. So there's a little ticker there in the key.co slash Amplify. And you get to be with and meet with and brainstorm with and collaborate with people like Victoria. Um and the second assignment for anyone listening, whether you're a musician or not, is to go to victoriastormmusic.com, put your little name and email into that mailing list there, and that means the world. And then keep getting those emails and reading them and just seeing what it's like. Like you get to be in the ground level to see how this all unfolds. Like this is very exciting. You're, I mean, you're hearing the development of two bands and coming out with EPs. Like that's a whole process and doing it digitally. Like it's really cool. And there's going to be a lot of cool stuff that, that you're going to get to hear from Victoria. So that's your assignment. Go there, get on that email list and it's going to be good stuff. So yep. all right, everyone's clear. Great. Yep. Um, Victoria, anything else that you've got going on that you want to share? Any successes or wins that you've seen recently that you're excited about? We want to get all, all the good stuff. Sure. Well, um, recently, my, my band, we put together a video of um, the cover song, Merry Christmas, Baby. Hmm. So fun. We got invited to be a part of a concert that is usually live this time of year. And they said, well, since we can't do this live, everybody's going to be submitting um, videos. Let's let's do this together as a video. And I watched it this last weekend when it was premiered. Um, and it was so much fun. 
So we're going to do a watch party on December 22nd at six o'clock uh, central time okay. to watch the video together with uh, friends from Kettle Strings. And um, anybody that wants to j- jump on then, I'll certainly let you know on Facebook. So that's really fun. And um, just that some of these recordings are getting done and getting produced. And it's just, it's like, it's like, I, I know this is an overused analogy, but it really is. It's like watching your belly grow through pregnancy. And eventually it's, you're going to have this baby that comes out and it's like an amazing process. So I feel very much like, well, and pregnancy can also be very uncomfortable. Yeah. So you want to get analogy. Baby. It's a good analogy because when you're coming up with a record, like all of those like uncomfortable, uh, what if this isn't good enough? Maybe I should wait. Oh my God. Once it, once it's done, I have to put it out there. What if people don't like, like all of that's, that's not comfortable. No. Like all those voices. So it's a, it's a very good analogy. And I re- another element of that analogy, I remember being asked which one of your albums is your favorite. And I was like, well, I imagine, and I don't have kids by the way. So I'm just sort of going with the stereotypes yeah. of this analogy, but I was like, well, I imagine it's kind of like, kids you don't have a favorite they're all different they're all snapshots of one spot at life like I was this years old when I made this one and had this much experience and this is different and same thing with kids they're at different phases of their lives unless well they all are even if they are quadruplets or whatever but um so yeah you can't like love one more than another but the process is yeah it's it's exciting it's very miraculous when you're in the flow of writing the songs and then when you get the mix back there's some magic there so there's a lot of yeah, it's really cool stuff. So how what's the estimated release date for any of this stuff, um, even if it's a ballpark? Yeah, no, I'm thinking that that the track that's done is ready to go. So I just need to do the the few things. So I would say end of January is going to be the first single. Ooh, all right. So it's really like time to get on this list yeah. and, and start. Like we're, we're getting going. Yeah, we're getting going. Woo! And that's one of the things that's really kept me from doing it in the past is that I didn't, I didn't have the... I didn't have the procedure. I didn't know how to do it. And I put out some music um, a couple of years ago um, and, you know, wonderful crickets were, were, were heard, um, Mm -hmm. which was expected. So that's when I was like, Oh, okay. So maybe I need to do something else besides make the good music. There's something else that needs to happen in there. So I'm happy to be hanging out with you and your your group um, to try and make a little bit more of a splash this next time. And if it's not a flash, it's at least it's a, um, my goal is not to, is to have more than just my friends and family hear it. Yeah. I think, I, I think we're, yeah, yeah, we're going, we're going for splash. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be splash. I can see it now. We've got, we've got you covered. We've got you. We're ready to share. We are. I think everyone in Amplify sort of like has their button on the share, listen, follow. I think we're, we're all primed for the, yeah. for the follow. And for the share. Yeah. So I think, I think you're going to be, you're going to be all set and supportive. Yeah. So. And, it, and it's a track I'm really proud of. So it'll be fun. Yay. What's it called? Butterfly wings. Butterfly wings. All right. Yeah. We're all just looking out for butterfly wings. I am yeah. excited about this. Yeah. Well, everyone going is going to victoriastoremusic.com All right. Now that's your yeah. homework. It's going to take yeah. you two seconds. Get excited. Um, thank you so much for being here and sharing this experience and and all the work that you are doing because you yeah. are a busy lady. And so um, I'm so glad you spend a little time on your day off with me. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you. Okay, see you later. That's it for today's 12 Days of Amplify session. Thank you so much for listening. And if you are a musician and you're like, yes, I need to be part of this community, go to inthekey.co slash amplify. I will see you there.